PPOB, Juan is a youth deny attacking security agents. We want to sound a note of warning to those peddling lies against IPOB to desist from that or be ready to face the consequences of their blackmail against innocent people. The world now knows better. So this is coming from um, IPOB spokesperson Emma Powerful. But you see, what really surprises me is that the, um, these people that keep pointing fingers to IPOB member in this country, you know, have failed to realize that this IPOB have come you know, to help every one of them. They failed to realize that this IPOB have come to deliver them from what is about to come in this country. And aside from that, you know, there's been so many atrocities happening in this country. You know, um, what has been happening in Asuro, um, the um, mayhem, the Fulanis or Fulani heads men are causing in the eastern part just name it you know to mention all these things and then and, you know our local stations you know we never they will never report all these things and now thank god for mazin amikano true Radio Biafra, and we've come to realize what has been happening in this country and that's the more reason you know um, this uh, our government you know, proscribed ipob because of their truthfulness and they were proscribed because of their truthfulness, so the world will see them as you know, um, people that are bad. But thank God, God's hand is in this. Now, instead of seeing, instead of the world seeing them as people that are bad, they've come to realize that IPOB is fighting a good cause. You understand? They know IPOB is fighting a good cause. They are fighting for the freedom of every one of us in this country. So, in my path, also when I had, um, also stated that um, those people. Pending remote of IPOB involvement in the guerrilla attack to focus on on seeing the barbaric massacre of innocent people by the bloodthirsty headsmen and bandits and do something about it. Exactly what it should be. You can't, you know, possibly leave the headsmen clean and terrorizing the people, you know, and start pointing figures to those fighting for their freedom. It just it it, it, it doesn't rhyme at all. Okay, and there's something I've come to realize in this country that um, the government, the people, they, they, they embrace and pamper terrorists. You know, it's it's just so funny, like very, very funny. How can you possibly, you know, um, bring in a repented Boko Haram? I want to bring in um, a repented book uh, and to reintegrate them into the society, telling the citizens of the country that and these people that that have been reintegrated into the society can also can, can also um, join the force, the army force and the rest. And so they will join the army force, you know, they will join them to suppress the citizens as well. Very funny government, you know. So in this country, they just they tend to you know embrace and papa terrorists while they torture and kill innocent citizens. Very very bad of them. Very very bad I must say. And this reminds me of um, this song. What's his name? African China song. He said he said he said policeman go see white. Uh, he go tell he say I say that in a uh, black. Exactly what is happening in this country. You know you you see evil you call it good. You see good you call it evil. Again. And so, fans, that's what we have for you today. Kindly, you know, share your comments. Let's interact.